Hey everybody, this is SBC Plainfield. It is just after 6 p.m. on a Saturday evening. And I want to make this little video real quick because I have discovered something interesting between my phone and my laptop with Windows 10. I mean, I know a new version of Windows 11 is already out, but I'm still going to use Windows 10 for the time being. Now, I had actually discovered something interesting about connecting my phone to my computer. And it has something to do with the mobile hotspot. You know, the personal hotspot on your phone. So this computer is not connected to the internet, right? So when I try to load a random website like SPC, it's going to fail because it's not connected. But I noticed something very interesting. So I'm gonna pull up the wireless connections menu. I'll let you watch that menu and the phone at the same time. When I plug it in to the computer, watch what happens. And see the phone is actually now sending its cellular signal to my computer. See, it's coming up as an ethernet connection. So when I pull it up, it says ethernet network two. Now this has something to do with the hotspot and as soon as it does, it actually loads the SPC website. So I think what it is, is because, because it can connect uh, to a cellular network from USB because this is not a cellular, because laptops are not cellular models. So what I believe the phone is doing is it's transmitting the cellular signal from the nearest cell tower to a connected device. Like for instance, my laptop. See, it's connected to the internet via the Verizon LTE cellular signal. And then as soon as I unplug it, the signal goes out and then returns to its normal state. Now this has something to do with the mobile hotspot. And even when it's not discoverable, it still does this. Now, the thing is, we usually are used to connecting it with Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, but USB, just plug it into the computer and then it says choose iPhone from the list of networks. But here, as soon as we plug it in, it connects it automatically without me, any, without me doing anything else, without going into settings or anything. Now, if I turn allow others to join off, the signal stops and the phone is, the phone signal is disconnected. But then as soon as I turn it back on, you can see it doesn't do anything, but in order to transmit a signal, we'll need to reconnect the phone to the computer. So as long as the allow others to join is off, when the phone is connected, it will not transmit its cellular signal to the computer. So I don't know if this is working for a lot of other iPhone models, but this is a pretty, this is a, something pretty interesting to see because I have never found out something like this. But yeah, I'll, but here I'll show you again. When I connect my phone to my computer. See the hotspot icon come up because now it's transmitting the wireless signal and this ethernet connection here is the Verizon LTE cell tower. It's at four out of four bars because we're very close to it. See, I can pretty much, I can pretty much browse the web as if I was using the cellular data directly on the iPhone. Now, I don't know if this works for a lot of other devices too, but I thought this was pretty interesting to show because maybe, maybe some point in the future when the, when the main internet signal goes out, like for instance, when the power goes out and I need to use my laptop for something, I could just hook up my phone to the computer and then I can have it not only charge it, but also transmit its wireless signal or its cellular data to the laptop so I can basically continue doing what I wanted to do. 
So yeah, that was that was all the notifications of things. So yeah, this was a pretty interesting little video to make. Thanks for watching.